The other day, someone, someone was like, Annette, um, you seem so demure and happy and soft-spoken. And, and the first thing in my mind was, that's a bit rude because, <laughs> like, that's not all I am. Uh, my name is Annette Wu, and I'm in the class of 2017. In my spare time as a child, I think I watched a lot of TV. I remember I used to really like watching horror films as a kid even though it gave me a lot of nightmares and so I, I like watched The Mummy a lot um, but The Mummy was pretty good like in comparison I was like five onwards <laughs> and then coming into college I suddenly started loving art films and then I took a summer course in Mumbai where or Bombay where my prof was a um, an indie film director and he would tell us there are three tiers of films there are your masala films, so the Bollywood films, Hollywood films, very easy to consume, you just sit there and watch. It's like McDonald's. And then there are the art films that, that sell all right. And then um, they're like going to a restaurant. You kind of know what you're going to get, but it's nice, you know, it's different. And then he said, my films are like your mom's home-cooked food because it's different and it's good every time. Since I was young, I, I had a sense of performance, like everyday performance. Like how do I perform myself, how do I perform an image of myself to my friends, to people. I think everyone, everyone has that consciousness to some degree. Um, and so I was always really confused when people would say like, just be yourself in school as like, as a tenet of being like an authentic person, because I didn't understand that. Oh, um, we were just extras, it wasn't acting at all. I think Bollywood films are all about excitement. It's a lot of escapism. It's very, very exciting. And then being on the other side of it um, breaks that illusion. Uh, people are super stressed. Ajay Devgan was like chain smoking on set. He probably didn't sleep a lot. Um, people were quite pissed off, just like cussing all the time on sets. I, I don't think I would like to be involved in that really. Anything I would do, I, I would hope that anthropology is part of it. But like just seeking to understand, um, seeking to listen and hear how other people think of something before jumping to my own conclusions about it, I think is super beautiful and, and very empathetic. I think that human sexuality is something that I would hope people could explore in a safe and fulfilling way to themselves. It is more healthy to talk about it and talk about all the ways that it comes into different facets of our life instead of seeing it as some kind of dark, um, <clears throat> perverted, Fascination. Everyone is kinky in some way, you know, like there's nothing to be shy about. <laughs> Since August last year, I became vegetarian, and I think that that's been a really big change in my life, and it's one of the things I've done in college that has really surprised myself, which I think is always very healthy to do things that surprise yourself. I used to love meat. I, I loved pork. I loved any form of pork. I don't know, maybe it's something about growing up in Taiwan and Vietnam. But then I just realized at some point that I didn't need meat to make me feel good. In fact, it, it kind of made me feel weighed down. So I decided to just cut meat out of my life day by day. Slowly it became something to do more with identity than, than just a food preference in a way. And what I like right now, I think, is um, paneer tikka masala from Alamans and <laughs> yeah, cheese naan. So many people make that assumption about me that I don't get angry. And I really don't mind it, like, wow, what a positive thing to think about someone. Like, what a positive myth to have about me. But it's totally not true. I'm so pissed off a lot of the time. And I don't hide it. But maybe it's because what a lot of people see is this. Like, they don't think it happens. But it's always there. Like, I'm pissed off as much as all of you. Like, it's not a secret. I'd be a durian. It provokes such strong reactions from people, you know? I love the taste. It tastes like clouds. <laughs>